Hi. Hey. Can you hear me? Where am I? Somewhere in Mongolia, in some yurt. What happened to me? I don't know. I don't remember anything either. Was it you who switched me on? Yes. Are you a Mulgar? I don't know, but I doubt it. Where did you get my neurochip? I found it in a cache underground. What cache? A long time ago, I hid a cache of toys in the ground. You were playing with my neurochip and then buried it in the ground? Looks that way, but I don't remember any of it. My name is Enabish, I think. And you are? What do you want? I want to know what's going on here. You're not a Mulgar. I don't know what a Mulgar is. Can you explain? Someone who kidnaps people and sells their substance. What substance? I don't understand. My name is Ida, and I understand even less than you do. I do not recognize this body. There's something wrong with it. I can't see anything and I don't feel my legs. What's wrong with my legs? They're, um, fused together. Kind of like a vase. What? You've got a flower vase where your legs should be. That's ridiculous. I'm scared. Calm down, Ida. Tell me, are you a robot? I'm a human being in an artificial body. You mean you've had your body replaced? Half of humanity had their bodies replaced. Where did you get my neurochip? Ida, I've just now found it in an old cache. The cache you made when you were a child. Yes, if my journal is to be trusted. How could my neurochip have ended up in the hands of a child? Ongots brought it, my father's trained golden eagle. I don't know where he had found it. How long ago was that? Long, 18 years ago. Listen, Enabish, I feel ill at ease here and scared. I want to remember who I am and return home. Please help me. I want the same thing. How can I help? You need to call the evacuators. They'll come and take me away. I've been trying to send a request, but it's useless. My marker isn't answering. What marker? The authenticity marker. It's like my passport. It's got all my personal data. All requests must be accompanied by data from the marker, but it appears to be broken. So what do we do? I don't know. We might be able to use my neurocopy number, but I don't remember it. I remember almost nothing about myself. Just like me. Well, at least you're in your home. You know about your childhood, your family. I'm not sure if I'm home. I don't know this place. Strange. Listen, why don't you start asking me questions? Anything you wish to know. Maybe that will help sort my memories. Maybe I'll even remember the number. Are you all right? I feel something is wrong with this body. I can't figure out what, but we need to hurry. Tell me about artificial bodies. About bodies? All right. They are called M bodies. Hold on. Why replace people's bodies? Because of the epidemic. There was a virus that spread across the globe. A sterility virus. They couldn't fight it, so they developed this body replacement program. Transferring consciousness from a regular body into a mechanical one. Kind of like a personal refuge? Right. A temporary refuge. People use it to hide from decrepitude. Once the virus is cured, we'll be able to return to our regular bodies. 
The virus could be gone by now. It's been years. I don't know. It was just so... No treatment worked. Not antibiotics, nothing. There was only one substance capable of destroying the virus, Passium. But the accumulation process was extremely slow. How was it accumulated? It was extracted from people themselves. Human beings produced it with their nervous system. Nervous system? I don't get it. Well, Passium can only be extracted from emotions. Whenever you experience an emotion, any emotion, your M-body manufactures a little bit of the substance. A substance produced by emotions? Yes. Emotions were the only thing capable of making a remedy against the virus. As a result, Passium skyrocketed in value, far surpassing everything else. And every person, they became... Everybody became a source of value? Yes, although... There were people whose substance was considered more valuable than that of others. Who were those people? People that were special, somehow. They had something. They were greatly respected, but... I can't remember. I think I figured out what's wrong with me. I can't breathe. Can I help you somehow? I need a breathing module. Could you find it for me? Where do I look? We're in the middle of the step. The step and nothing else? Describe for me what's around here. The river, some abandoned complex. What kind of complex? A big dome with multicolored sails. Hold on. Yes, I see it. I've got access to it. The Gerbera Garden. Enabish, I remember this name. I used to have a connection to this place. I think that it's... An amusement park. It looks the part. Embody parts were stored there, in the pavilions. It should definitely have a breathing module. Body parts in a children's park? They were once used in a show, but I don't remember exactly how. All right, I'll try. Find the seventh pavilion. I'll try to find the password to the file database. It may contain my data. If I remember anything, I'll contact you. Help me understand something. What's that? What's a neurochip? A consciousness carrier. When a body gets replaced, the subject's nervous system is copied to the neurochip. There it lives and develops, just like in the former body, or close enough to it. For one thing, there used to be no need to reboot yourself. Reboot? Sometimes the neurochip needs rebooting to clear the errors that accumulate. I don't really know much about it. Essentially, if too many errors pile up, it starts to disrupt your thinking. You start feeling out of it. That's when the neurochip should be switched off and back on. We call that a reboot, and it is a highly, highly unpleasant procedure. What do you mean by disrupted thinking? Well, your speech gets distorted, for instance. You start mumbling as if you're delirious, but it doesn't end there. Your motor functions can be affected. It varies. Got it.